Hello YouTube, we are in another tutorial for the fixed layout exporter and today we will see something interesting and how we create it uh, with the features that we learned in the basic uh, tutorial that we already done and uh, let's see the result, let's open C3 app, our reading application and we will create, you can see here, we will create fixed layout book which is a comics book this is the cover, this is page number one, you see we, we enhanced it with uh, some animation and we can also click on the image, move to, uh, to the next page also here we can see movements of objects, of images in this page the next page, the comics page, uh, the source was a flat image and we divide it to scenes and we continue, we flow with the reading and we need to click on each scene to get the next scene the last scene we can click and move to the next page and like that the scenes are entering and we have animation that is following our reading of the book last click, we go back to page number one and let's see how we did this uh, book. So we are starting from, let's leave it open here as a reference for page number one. And first of all, we are s to see what the source, the source is images, JPEG images, no transparency. And we took only uh, four of them and we opened them in GIMP, each one in a separate layer. Now, uh, as we work, because we want to export each one of the pages as a separate HTML, XHTML page, um, so we group them inside a, a group of objects, as we can see here. Let's hide all the other pages. This is page number one. Page number one is a background and another image, which is the text a copy of the text itself let's see the pulse effect that we created the pulse, pulse effect is created by giving a class name as you can see here in the square brackets you can see here a class name of infinite we want this animation to run in a loop and we start with an underscore because it's an action that we want it to happen on load and not on click event and we make animate of pulse without any ID and that's it uh, it will work on the ID of this layer itself and this what make us this what give us the result of this pulse effect infinite and pulse on start now this is page number one. Let's hide it. Let's move to page number two and see what we did here. All the objects are initially hidden and one by one is entering the screen in the animation that we defined. And let's see what we defined. We have X-Men layer, then gold, then this character, storm, and night coroller and let's see what we defined here and you can see that all of them have animation that start automatically on the load because we see the underscore underscore animate the first one is fade in second one slide in from the right sliding from the left and we use the parameter of when we want it to happen after two s two seconds after three seconds after four seconds and we can see also that we can click on the gold and it will be link and it will open page number three this is in case we want specific object to be clicked and move between pages and not only uh, the definition of the application is if it's a swipe or click on the edges of the of the um, screen itself so this is page number two let's see how we did page number three and we see here that we have the first scene, second scene, we just cut 
cut the seams and we use them we 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 animate them inside our screen one by one we are starting from animation fade in of this specific uh, image the first image we have underscore it will be on load and when we click on it there is another curl curly uh, brackets here when we click at it you see that there is no underscore here okay so uh, there is no underscore so we have animate animate slide in left of id p3 2 which is this one the second one so we click on the first one the second one appear and here we see that when we click on this one the other one will appear p33 which is here okay and click on that will appear this layer and the last one when we will click on it it will be linked to page 5 page 5 is the name of this page and this is its id and that's what we got as a result here let's move between the pages let's go back a second okay let's see that when we click on gold so also we move to the next page and here click the next scene click the next scene anywhere here click the next thing another click we move to the next next page and we have an automatic animation here let's see it all of this is hidden let's see the last one and the same we defined animation automatic animation sliding up and then when we click on it we have a show of the next scene you see this id we show this one as we learn in the first tutorial how we activating actions in this case it's animation and link between the pages and that's it now all of the inner layers are hidden the pages themselves are visible and basically what we need to do in in uh, this case just to save our work go to tool epub system export in a pro mode we don't need any flexible container we want to make a book out of it a uh, fixed layout book interactivity support multi-page from top level layers like here we work in one project all the pages in one place and let's export everything we see the fixed layout exporter working and soon we will see here how the directories are ready to import into Sigil are created let's let the fixed layout exporter finish the job let's not disturb it not play with the files is writing now the files the images html css javascript all the things that we need to uh, have a working fixed layout book we there is an information here that we will be charged for another three exported pages because we have a total of four pages here so it's not only one export because we use the pro version and basically here these three directories contain all the information that we need to open an empty epub file basically what you need to do is to go to text you see the same structure text add existing file to select the files of the text on import it will already import all the css file that were created all the images that were created on the ex export please note that sigil does not uh, import the javascript file so on the directory of miscellaneous you need to 
add existing file and go to the directory that were created miscellaneous and select all file open and add this file except of that you need to define uh, the cover you need to go to your OPF file make sure the definition for the fixed layout are correct in this case we have here uh, portrait mo um, uh, view of the book um, and we need of course to put the ISBN we need to put the title all the information that we need uh, to define our um, our pages as scripted don't forget that very important and that's it everything will work and you can save this file you see here that the viewport in Siegel is not correctly that's why we usually export in with a script with the um, flexible layout ability so we can test it on the web browser but uh, the reading applications know how to show it correctly as we can see here we have the correct viewport that was defined by the fixed layout exporter and this is the result of exporting from the GIMP and what we will get is a book that is fully interactive there is animation we enhanced it with nice animation and we started with flat images because we worked on a graphical uh, tool on the GIMP and basically you can do uh, whatever you want graphically and then um, and then you enhance your book with animation and events that's it for now till the next tutorial